you know, the thumbnail shows, uh, good boy Ninja or, dog. oh boy or good boy. Boy, he's really coming out in droves, isn't he? They're going to really push the, yeah, it's time to push the robots. It's time to push automation. Um, I think that, you know, we're going to start really seeing the normalization of this stuff get rolled out to the public. No more just in videos are we going to see robots. I think we're going to start seeing them in play. Have I mentioned how much I immensely don't like backwards elbows? Like this dog? Yeah, like, oh, like yeah. I, just walk I get like it. This. I, oh, it's terrible. It's terrible. I it's get like it. the grudge. Like the grudge programmed me a decade ago to not like this guy. Sorry, yeah. bud. No, you I never had a chance. Totally get it. Dynamics. Asia, yeah. Asia Grace writes the digi doc. The digi doctor is in. Doctor Spot. Callie unknown. What's up, bro? Fist. Uh, a dog like mobile robot programmed to triage hospital patients is the newest frontline healthcare worker to join the fight against COVID-19. Because I ain't scared to say nothing no more. You know what I'm saying? Awkward. And while <laughs> at first glance, this four-legged, backwards-elbowed might look like something out of your worst nightmare. <laughs> that was a really good integration there. People are people are actually doggone happy about it. Let's see what they did there. Doggone. Doggone. It's like a dog from the forest. If you're familiar with the video <laughs> game The Forest, Spirus, my man, what's up? Good to see you. Good evening, folks. I miss video games. So, check it out. Digi Doctor is in. All what right. do you think? Would you let him like hello? AI is going to take over Checking SMH. Checking your pulse. Yeah. They're going to know how we sleep, what we eat. What, I, I'm, I'm just playing. Look, don't worry about that. People yeah. are very positive, actually, and accepting of robot systems in healthcare, as, as you read here. Uh, oh, my gosh. There's this thing on Instagram where, like, it's this new thing that they've come out with where it's like a robot um, nightlight for your kid. And you put it, you know, by your kid's bed. And, if, and they can sense if they're sleeping or not. And if your kid wakes up, it'll reassure them. Like, it has some program responses to reassure them that everything's okay and they could go back to sleep. And uh -uh. I commented on it. I said, this is awesome. But I said, do we really want our kids to be comforted by a robot? And um, They're going to know. And some lady came back and said, no, dear, purchase is, uh, purchase is optional. And I was like, right, I get that. But what's not optional is my kid is going to have to deal with your kid who was raised by a freaking robot. Thank you. So, Thank I don't know. You. Don't okay. be lazy. Let your kid wake you up in the middle of the night. Suck Am it up. It's only for a little bit. I mean, you know, it's the parental thing to do is to get up and comfort the child, I would think. Or that's, you know, that's that's for the 19th century. That's old school. Nowadays, we let Miss Judy, what's the name of the robot from the Jetsons? George and Rosa. Judy. Rosa, yeah. Rosa, Rosie. they showed it's you. It's Rosie. They showed you Rosie was taking care of the kids back in the day. Right. Okay, they was getting you ready for it way back in the 60s or hey, 70s. Hey, that, that show did make me want, like, where you could press in and get food, like, Yeah, I'm not gonna. Alfredo. I'm not gonna lie, not only did the Jetsons teach me what a sprocket was, but they the did. a sprocket? Well, like a gear. But either way, uh, that show totally, I, I wanted everything in that show when I was yeah. a kid. Yeah. What's up? Look up the backstory for the game Horizon Zero Dawn. I will have to do we that. We will have to do that. Because of the systemisms. 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 The systemisms. Of course, virus. <laughs> That's hilarious, dude. <laughs> Why is COVID mac and cheese racist? Did I just cross a line and not know it? I, I don't. don't I have no idea. No, I don't. I don't think it is. Is it? Why would that be racist? I don't know. I'm not an expert on what cheese. is and okay. Isn't. Hold on, I'm gonna figure it out because cheese mac and cheese has cheese. Cheese is orange. Orange is like not white and a trumpet. Okay. Orange. Man, perhaps <gasps> it's cause it's orange Maybe, and orange I don't know. man it's bad. Thing I can put together. I like to try to put jokes together. You know, people, I wonder. I'm the worst because people will be like, 
you know, what do you get when you do this and this? And I'm like, hold on, give me a second. Let me think about it. And they're like, just let me tell you. I'm, no, I'm going to think about it. You asked me a question. No, damn it. I'm going to answer you. Legitimate question. Do you think that those on the left are slightly vitamin C deficient due to a negativity towards the color orange? Is that a silly question? Do you think... Did I say that was silly? Or, uh, I don't know. It, it sounds silly now that I've said it. So, but... does that argue that orange juice is the orange man's Kool-Aid? It might be the orange man's juice, you know? Dang it. Because he is totally... in the sunshine state. I don't know. Let's, let's get off this. We got stuff to read. Totally unrelated. I really want some orange juice. Me too now. Crap. I, I could got... go squeeze us some. You're really? funny. No, let's read. Let's read. Okay. MIT assistant professor of mechanical engineering, Giovanni Traverso, well, golly, that's a good name, uh, told the Post, in a, in a new study out this month, Traverso and colleagues Peter Chai and Henwei Hyung Hyang found that patients are widely receptive to receiving medical attention from robots designed to evaluate symptoms in a contact-free way. Widely receptive. Widely receptive, like, wow, look at this, a robot in the hospital. You know what I mean? Widely receptive, like... Uh, wait. Uh, we always kind of, we knew this has been coming. It's only a matter of time, and today's the day, and okay, fine. Okay, let's see here. I'm sorry. I think it's more of like, okay. They're even willing to let robot, robo-docs. Oh, boy, here we go. I love the names. Robocop, robo-docs. I like it. <laughs> made of aluminum <gasps> the next one <laughs> I'm just kidding I'm just kidding I'm just kidding cause you know cause the next <sighs> one cause it's Robocop I need a laugh track <laughs> okay uh, let's see watch out for the next one guys <laughs> wait so plast made of okay made of alum aluminum plastic and circuit boards perform minor procedures on them ne negative what does minor that's, procedure mean? Like such as sutures, perhaps? assessing their vital signs. Okay, that's not a big deal. Taking a nasal swab or placing an intravenous catheter. I'm good, man. <laughs> I am really okay. I'm not that damn progressive. I snorted. I'm sorry. Wow. <laughs> that's a futuristic mofo if you're letting a robo dog do that. Or do I not know what an intravenous catheter is? Okay, hold on. I wait thought I knew what that was, wait, but maybe wait. I don't know what that is. Wait a minute. I am definitely not widely receptive to robot in medical setting. Okay, also I would like to point out that he walks on these paws. So these same paws that he's walking on, he's supposed to come and grab your stuff with and no, hose no, it no, up. No, 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 no. He'll have and like a... His... No, no, no. They have like a little dog, like a dog arm at the top where the, like where the iPad is. There's like an arm. And so they're going to grab your stuff and then... Or how do they know when I, to stop? I don't know. How do they know when to stop? I don't know. So how do they know okay, when wait, to wait, stop? wait, wait. So apparently, oh, COVID man. mac and cheese is racist. Oh man! Because it had a Chinese oh, spice it. in it. Oh, 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 oh! I feel it. It's terrible. Did you hear that? No, hold on. Okay. Well, we got something else to get to in just a second. This is ridiculous. I, 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 yeah, I straight up shut off that visual. I was not going to think about a robot shoving nothing nowhere. I'm not I doing that. Look, okay, we're way too deep already. We're like 10 minutes into the show. This is way too deep for me. <laughs> I'm still on long. racist mac and cheese. I don't understand. It. Mac and cheese doesn't really have a lot to do with Listen, Chinese spice. Listen, the COVID mac and cheese is racist because it might have had a little bit of Chinese spice in it. I'm sorry, that's over my head, but okay. Hey, I think we're just letting the folks know, but I look, that doesn't sound like anything good. Early oh, on no. in the pandemic, we wanted to help protect the healthcare workforce from the virus by limiting their exposure to potentially COVID-infected patients. We wondered if we could do that by incorporating robotic systems in healthcare environments and if patients would be willing to engage with robots during their evaluations, he said. Oh boy. All right, folks. Oh boy or good boy? No, hold on. Oh. Hello, doctor. Don't worry about the small dog like chassis underneath me. <laughs> I'm good, dude. No way, man. Do y'all see this? Oh, I'm really struggling. Oh, okay. No. 
I watch too many horror movies to test their theory. I can't. Why is it running? Is it running? No. I don't like it. <laughs> oh. To test their theory, researchers first conducted a nationwide survey of 1,000 people to analyze their thoughts on receiving medical services from robots. Which I really, if you've ever seen Parks and Rec, they give no. you a look into those like think tanks oh, yeah. where they like just ask a group of people questions with like two-way mirrored glass. You know what I mean? No, I don't remember. Yeah, that like they they get people to experience something, and then they bring people into a think tank, like a conference room, right. with two way glass, yeah. where the the, the recipients yeah. are okay. listening to the yeah. responses. Those are always fun to me. Yeah. Those are silly. You really get people's honest opinions, and it's funny if it's like negative. First off, this thing looks like it's running away. You know that there oh, were some folks in do? the think tanks that they excused because they were like, "Nah, to be honest, it was kind of terrifying." <laughs> like you know. <laughs> Okay, sir. Well, thank you so much for your input today. I want all 1,000 people to be recipients of the fucking the catheter, all right? Because those are the only ones that really count. Everybody else is just jokes. Oh, oh, it hurts real bad. I'm sorry. I'm struggling, guys. Oh, oh, wait. We, we're going to get into that. Please, wait. We'll get into that, yeah, okay? We will. We will. We okay. I need, I need freedom from this, please. So if it's you don't want running. to comply, do they just... <gasps> so if you don't want to comply, do they just sick the dog on you? Good luck out running that. I'm just playing. It's a joke. All right. Hey, look. All of its charging stuff is right where a butt would be. <gasps> that is us That is funny robotic anatomy. That is the yeah, most... Yeah, on purpose. They're like, watch. That is the most hilarious... Hey, boss, where should I plug this in? All right, we found that folks across the nation were willing to engage with robots, particularly systems yeah. that facilitate telehealth and systems that facilitate measuring vital signs like high rate, heart rate, respiratory rate, and oxygen levels. Which is totally fine. Well, this part right here, I think telehealth is... Uh, they really liked it when we put a doctor's face on the dog. That made them feel a lot better about the robot being in the room. It really helped them distract them. It gave them a human to look at, like, maybe things are going to be okay. That's a healthcare professional. He certainly has taken the Hippocratic Oath and wouldn't be okay with this robot dog and paling me with its needles. Mm. Because you know that it's got some, like, hideaway, fold away, like, arms that go shink. You know? I'm just joking. <laughs> I'm joking. I'm, I, I take it. I take it too far. Can you scream? Because I just want to know if it'll know to stop. Like a doctor. Well, I don't would want it to stop. Like if you scream, oh. it would be like, oh, I've gone too far. The researchers then teamed up with engineering and robotics design from Boston Dynamics. Of course they did to create Doctor Spot. No, they didn't. They this has been in military trials for like ten years almost. Oh, I don't They've been trying to make a little robo dog for a long time, not just for little Dr. Spot here. Or they've been planning for this little sick situation that we're going through for a long ass time. What do you think is in that little thing there? That little hole? Like, do you um, think no, down at the bottom. Right here? Yeah, like, do you oh, think something comes out? Like, no, I think that's going to be like a. Uh, water or suture. Honestly, or... I think that's a camera, radar, and like uh, infrared sensors that scan in front of him so he doesn't run into anything oh, he's yeah, constantly uh, looking yeah you're right maybe For sure. i don't know i figured that's what that ominous red thing was like meow, you know meow, that is funny meow, i think that's more of like meow. a name you know tag he does that. i think that's more like a name tag maybe but something in him is doing meow. i know it oh i don't want to think about it anymore can we get off please can't call that one a fur missile though <coughs> oh man all right, it takes a few months to build a robot. Sure it does, as if they don't have a damn f facilities mm -hmm. full of these damn things waiting for everybody to be okay with it. The company's offerings start around 75500 hmm, That's actually relatively inexpensive compared to what I thought. I don't know. I guess I never did right. think about how much it costs. But customizations can cost Wait, over 20000 Robo Dog here costs about as much as a Porsche. About so, as much. Do you want a dog that can do? Actually, no. On you? These days, Porsches are a, a little bit north of a hundred. I think. I'm not positive. Let me know if you know any Porsche fans out there. If they can get a robot that can do like facials and massages and I don't know, like 
you know, like I would that would be stairway cool. to meme them. Let's just go ahead and get into it. Get it over with. Yeah. Okay. What's up, guys? If you enjoyed this clip, follow the link down in the description below to. to <sighs> like this guys follow the description that follow the link in the description below uh get subscribed over there so you can get notifications for when we go live um right what was i was that it yeah and uh yeah god bless much love bro fist